Hey everyone, it is Sparkle and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this is a quick store run. So just want to share what I bought from Family Dollar. Okay, some household things. Um, paper towels. Let me slide this back. I got some paper towels and stuff. So we got paper towels. Uh, some toilet tissue. Right. So are y'all ready for Thanksgiving? Y'all ready for Thanksgiving? I am. And I'm cooking. Okay, I am cooking um, some stuff. So, I'm going to let y'all know what I'm cooking in a minute. But, y'all know I'm ready for it to be over with. Y'all know that. Okay, so I got my Suavitel. Y'all know I always talk about the Suavitel is my favorite. Favorite, favorite. Uh, Suavitel Complete. Smells amazing. Amazing. Okay, y'all know I always buy this dull strawberry lemonade. Okay, I'll put that right here. I bought two of them from the Family Dollar. Y'all, it's raining been raining all day so today i'm making um for dinner i'm making meatloaf mashed potatoes um what is it the canned turnip greens by glory and um yeah i'm gonna do gravy yeah i'm gonna do the gravy for the mashed potatoes and Trying to think if I want to do corn. I might do cornbread. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do no cornbread because I'm cooking for Thanksgiving, and I'm going to have cornbread. You know, so if I make cornbread today, that means I'm not going to have cornbread for Thanksgiving. But anyway, so um, I ran out of breadcrumbs, so I picked up some for Family Dollar. This is the Chestnut Hill brand. This was uh, 140. Okay, now they didn't have like just the regular uh, breadcrumbs. This one says Italian style, but I'm still going to use it. I'm just going to use a little, a little bit of this and just um, mix it with some Ritz crackers. I just got a small box because it's just for my meatloaf. Oh, excuse me. So, you know, I'll probably just, I think I'm going to use just a little bit of the Italian breadcrumbs and majority of the Ritz crackers because I'm scared. I don't know how this is going to taste, you know. So I got that. Um, got me some more Reynolds wrap. And I was looking for, this one looks like it's already been open. They taped it up, but... Okay, I was looking for uh, the longer Reynolds wrap. Here we go. So I got that. And, um, okay, so we'll talk about, okay, this is what I'm making tonight. Little instant butter home style mashed potatoes, Idaho. So we're going to talk about my Thanksgiving dinner. Now, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do... I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to overwork myself for Thanksgiving, making the Thanksgiving dinner. I'm not doing that. So this is what's on the menu. Um, baked chicken. Okay. Baked chicken. Um, baked macaroni and cheese. Yams from the can. Okay. <laughs> so I'm doing that. And... Um, what I was going to say, green beans, right? 
uh, devil egg, um, I may do stuffing. If I do the stuffing, y'all, it's going to be stove top, okay? It's going to be stove top. And, um, of course, the cornbread. Then I'm going to do a pan of lasagna, right? Pan of lasagna. And I'm going to fry some fish, okay? Y'all know the fish that I bought from Kroger, the whiting. I'm going to do that. So um, I picked up two of the season crispy fish fry okay louisiana so i picked that up from family dollar oh and i'm gonna have a salad I'm gonna have a salad um what else so i'm gonna buy like a sweet potato pie probably like from kroger or publix or something you know like some cupcakes and something like that i don't know you know what no i'm not gonna do the sweet potato pie I'm going to get the apple pie. Apple pie for dessert and some ice cream. And yeah, that's going to be that. So, got my Texas Pete hot sauce. You know, so I'm not doing the traditional, you know, Thanksgiving meal. Well, the baked macaroni and cheese is traditional. The yams and stuff, you know. Everything is going to be quick because that's, that's just what I'm doing. You know, I don't want to be spending all day and night in the kitchen and can't enjoy, you know, like Thanksgiving. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so I'm having family over with stuff and, you know. Okay, so I got some napkins, you know, for uh, Thanksgiving Day. I got that. Um, I got some paper plates. Like this is just for like when I don't want to wash dishes. But Thanksgiving Day, um, it's gonna be no paper plates. Mm -mm. So y'all know I have a lot of white dinner plates. We're gonna use them, and I'm gonna pull out my um my dinner napkins. You know, I'm gonna pull those out, and also. Look, y'all, I went back and picked up the Kiss nail set. This time I got the purple, and I matched it up with the purple nail polish. So this will go on my toes, and, you know, this will go on my fingers. Okay? So, yeah, picked that up. But, um, yeah, so, and I already had some yams. I have the big, let me show you. I have two of these, the Bruce's yams, okay, these are, you know, I have two of these already, so I went and picked up at the Family Dollar, because they didn't have the big cans at the Family Dollar, they only had the small ones, so I picked up three of the smaller Bruce's yams from there. Here's the other one. And um, what is this? My turnip greens. This is for tonight. I got two cans of those turnip greens. Is it too? Maybe I need to put on my dining room light, y'all. It's too dark in here for y'all. Let me see. I'm going to turn on that light. I could see a little better. Okay. And because I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do for Thanksgiving as far as my um, my table, my table set up. Okay. So I got me some carpet freshener. And for some reason, when I went to Family Dollar, uh, a few days ago, they were out. I think it was, it was Thursday or was it Friday? Might have been Friday when I went. And I picked up two of the fabric softeners by Suavitel. Um, These were $1.40 each. Just the little small ones. 
and stuff. And I got this for the bathroom, toilet bowl, cleaner, well, tidy bowl, ultra borax booster, okay? I think these were like two sixty five, something like that, two something a piece. And also for the toilet bowl, pick these up. This was like five something, you know? So I got that. And I picked up three of the little air fresheners i was looking for the glade they were out of glade they were out of the glade so i had to get the family dollar brand which is home line okay the scent is linen fresh so i got three of these which are going to go in my bathroom so these were only a dollar so let me put this over here with the stuff but like I'm missing something. I think, yeah, that's everything. Um, so this is my haul. You know, this is my haul. Um, I do want to share with y'all how I'm going to set up my table uh, for Thanksgiving. I may do that tomorrow because this is raining out here. And I don't like, um, you know, I don't know. I don't like when it's dull looking like this. I like when the sun is out. So I think tomorrow the sun will be out and I can go ahead and set up my table for Thanksgiving. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, but this is my family dollar haul. Mm -hmm. Family dollar haul. Uh... I don't know y'all let me know what y'all you know what y'all are cooking for thanksgiving let me know in the comments you know let me know what you cooking for thanksgiving y'all know sparkles little thanksgiving meal it's not gonna be you know it's, it's, it's not gonna be um a headache it's not gonna be a headache okay so i am getting ready to prepare my meatloaf and um, when I make my meatloaf, I have my pan, but I always put aluminum foil inside the pan. And here's my ground beef. This is three pounds. All right, so I'm putting the ground beef in the bowl and I'm gonna add my ingredients. All right, so I'm gonna season it with my seasoning. So it's just um, some different seasonings that I put in the container and just mix it up. Now I'm gonna add my eggs. I'm using three eggs. And I'm gonna pour in one cup of milk and some breadcrumbs. So I use breadcrumbs and crackers mixed up. Now I'm putting in my bell pepper and onion. Two packs of the meatloaf seasoning. half a cup of ketchup, 
Now I'm mixing everything up really good before I put it in the pan. Instead of doing a loaf shape, I like to put mine in the pan like this. I have my oven set on 375 and I'm going to let it cook for about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. So while that's in the oven, I'm going to wash these few dishes. So to put on the top of my meatloaf, I use ketchup and just a little bit of barbecue sauce, mix it up and spread it on top. <music> 